I had decided to go and camp out for the night. So I packed up some very basic gear and headed off. What had encouraged me to do this trip was um, the day before I'd heard, oh, well, I'd gotten onto the stags roaring, two, maybe three of them. I was quite keen to just head back and camp there and see if I couldn't get up on one of these stags or I was actually trying to get the master stag if I could. I had a pretty shitty old tent, one of the old, old cookers, nothing was really organised. But I put on my pack and headed away and I was starting to climb to my destination. I paused for a rest on a log and I was there for about a minute when, unbeknown to me, a deer had snuck up behind me to see what I was. And when I moved my shoulder or wriggled to move a bit, this animal busted off down the hill, gave me a bit of a fright. So I slipped off my pack, got out the video. By this time the deer was inquisitive to what had just happened as about as much as what I was. And he decided to sneak back in and have another look. He uh, actually runs off and then comes back again. Uh, he just couldn't work out what I was. I was only at the very start of my walk-in. I had about, about an hour and a half, two hour walk-in. And uh, the trip was certainly starting off very positive. Well, we've arrived. It's uh, taken me a couple of hours. Yeah, probably an outbind schedule, but who gives a shit? Some dead fresh scrape here the other week, right there. Looks like shit now because I threw all those sticks on. Anyway, I'm going to camp right here. So we'll get our, uh, clean this up and get our tent down. Clearing is straight down that way, where my wind is going. That don't matter. Right, uh, let's get set up. Out. Step one, make flat surface. <laughs> Step two, I'm going to try and get some uh, warmth. Well, I'm all set up for the night. Get the window up the back there. <laughs> yes, well, what can I say? Got the bare essentials over there. They will be very good later. When I'm chowing down on my sardines and and um, what's it called? Parsley and chive lasagna, whatever it's called. Three beers to go. So yeah, and I got <laughs> that much water, two liters, which I've had a drink out of. I'd like to drink a, a liter of it right now. But um, I can't. So I should press on and uh, we uh, might come across a buddy creek later that we can have a drink of. See, she's all camo, deep camo. I wouldn't like to see that tent in any wind. Well, not up here because I'm on a ridge. Should get ripped apart. That's it. Probably get a frost tonight. Right, I I need to go and cut a track and start hunting mode. Out. And that's right, I neglected to say. <laughs> yes, I carried a chair up here as well about 50 metres from my camp up there down that's where that one was roaring yesterday was about over there somewhere over in here so it's about 2 o'clock so we haven't got a lot of time anyway it's all good
solid. saw me. It was right down to about 30 metres. He was just below me and she was just up there and I come round a bit more and she spotted me and took off and it was all over. And I've just learnt from this angle. Beautiful and open. I could have seen them from here. Well, this is what I get up to. Got a bit of rubbish there. We've not yet cooked tea. Been here in the hutch, but we've got a uh, candle going, and uh, that catches the wax. The old Ibina. Mm -hmm. She's a bit chilly, but uh, I'm in my sleeping bag as we speak, and a beer, etc. And it's not too bad. As you can imagine, cold's about to let down. Oh, sorry, the ground. Need a thermal mattress or something. But never mind, because the ground is what will chill you down. And you go, oh, I've got to go and get my meat too, that's right, it's hanging in a tree. Oh well, we'll get some tea going soon. And, uh, Beer number two. We'll crank it, then we'll cook it, see if it still goes. And if it doesn't go, then we're on uh, yogurt. <laughs> That's all we've got. <laughs> no. That's alright. I could be back at camp in an hour and a half. <laughs> anyway, there's me rations for the tea. Finally got the coffee going. It is going good. It was blocked yet. Which I thought it was, but I thought I'd never ever get it undone, and it did. It actually undone. So I'm glad because this is my heat for the night and to cook dinner. So 
that, add some pasta soon. Get that boiling. There. Need a lid though. I had a lid. I think I threw it out. It's in the shed or I threw it out, I think. Damn it. Oh god. Could be sitting beside a fire now, regrouping. It will be tomorrow night, that's for sure. Right, eh? Over and out. I hope you're tasty and warm at home. This is not going to be my back any good. With the cold ground. Well, that's dinner. Doesn't really look like much, does it? But, you know, sausage and bacon and pasta. Why aren't I just at camp? I don't know. Well, there's breakfast. Porridge and sugar. Uh-huh. And then I'll have a cup of tea and get away. It's still a little bit dark out there, but that's good. I should be out there now. Well, you can't go too early if you can't see the bastards. Anyway, I'll eat this while it's warm. Well, Got a deer just up there squealing at me. I just shot one. Thought he was better than that, damn it. But uh yeah, when he came through he looked pretty good, he looked like a start squealing. So this could be a bystander. Damn it. Damn, damn, damn. Well, we better gut it anyway. And the reason I was annoyed at myself was I was there to try and get the master stag, which I believe was a really nice eight I'd seen about a week prior. So when he came through, as we know, we've got six to eight seconds to ID it and try and get a good clean shot in, which I did. As he came through, it was the, the length. I saw the shiny tops and a couple of tines and I thought this could be him and uh, pulled the trigger and went in to have a look and learnt that I had uh, taken a satellite stag so yeah I was um, just a bit disappointed at myself for I guess not waiting and just um, IDing that stag a little better all up though, bloody good trip well just got back to camp and got uh, the water boiling for a couple pack up tent in a second and go back to a real camp. <laughs> pack it in, you pack it out. Right, outage. <laughs> <laughs> 